Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a three-slot payphone and this is Chris's payphone from PA. And um, Anyway, this telephone is in some need of repair, and uh, this is the initial checkout of this telephone. So we're going to kind of go through uh, a little bit of the condition that it's in and um, some of the things that we're going to need to do to the telephone. We have a blank plate here for the vault door, and a lot of times what happens with these blank plates are customers opt for an aftermarket lock that I can install in this plate. And since this telephone is not going to be in any kind of a, you know, a money situation where it's out in the public and being used as a, a payphone any longer, uh, more of a novelty where it will accept money and you can use it as a bank, uh, most customers just opt for a, a aftermarket lock that uh, we install in these little plates. And these little plates are pretty sturdy just uh, to begin with anyway. So we're going to set that to the side here. And uh, somebody has done some work on this telephone. They kind of have a bell shoved up in here. You can see that. And it's pretty loose. So I, I don't know. It's almost like a conversion kind of an older conversion gone bad. <laughs> uh, they've got a line cord here that somebody um, installed and just kind of shoved out of the back of the phone. We don't, uh, we don't go for that here. What we do is install a modular port uh, that simply uh, runs out the back and it, it's stationary and mounted and you can plug any line cord that you want and that that gets you away from these kind of messes here uh, because this is just kind of a tacky looking thing here and um, Chris will be able to plug any line cord he wants up to the telephone any length any color and uh, it just like if you were walking up to any ordinary telephone or answering machine and plugging uh, a line cord into it so basically this gives you a look at the telephone and I'm going to pull the cover off here real quick for you and turn it around. Somebody has installed uh, one of the older style gigantic networks inside here and um, this is pretty loose. This is a uh, 22-3G and it's a Western Electric. It's a cool telephone. Um, it's just that uh, you know some of the things, some of the uh, conversion that was done to it. This is kind of the thing that you get at some of the shops, or some of the conversions we see. Uh, this uh, plug here is is common um, to this model of telephone, where the connections are made here on the body. Th this is. Uh, this is common and, and this is okay. This is what we're going to use to get back over to the base. But this network situation here um, with how it's installed and flopping around and, and the bell flopping around just isn't... I don't know how that anyone would expect that to work. That's just not... Uh, that's unacceptable. It's just not how things are done and it's certainly not how things are done here at this shop. That is, uh, that's uncalled for really. Um, whoever did that probably should spend a few days in jail. So anyway, um, right here what we've got is our coin validator and we're going to go through this and uh, here's your gong. your bell and that's a good thing uh, that the coin validator is here and we're going to go through that and see what we uh, can come up with and um, get that to work. As you can see down here at the bottom the uh, body lock is missing 
and uh, what we're going to do is see if Chris wants to go with an aftermarket body lock. Uh, we can do that too. It's a similar lock to what we would put in the uh, vault door and uh, we can use the similar lock over here in the body and uh, basically what that does is save a lot of money. Um, if you don't want to, you know, if you if you don't go totally original with it, um, shouldn't be a big factor because you'll have your locks. Uh, it's not going to be out in a payphone public situation any longer, and um, it, you know, a lot of people, a lot of customers opt for that. Keeps the cost down, and you still have the look, and the unit will still lock. The body will uh, lock to the base of the telephone and um, so will the vault plate, this little vault door. It will also lock. And right now what they have to hold that into place is a screw. You can see that. We'll lose that screw. We can get rid of that. And this screw over here that they drilled through the side to mount this bell like this will go away also. And uh, this lock we're going to leave here, but it, it won't have any real function. Uh, the other suggestion probably, and we don't get into a lot of body work here, but to me it looks like your faceplate here for your number card. The number card looks pretty decent. Probably just needs a piece of plastic over it because it looks like it's pretty original to the telephone. And if it's not original, um, it's of the age where it could be considered original. I'll try to give you a, a, a look at that without a bunch of glare here. It just needs a piece of protective coating plastic over it like they had a shield. And maybe uh, this chrome could be brought out in this uh, picture plate frame. Uh, that would look nice because this telephone somebody uh, pretty much just kind of took a can of spray paint to it. But this is uh, this is cool and you know the telephone was used and it was in a using a environment and um, and that's what makes this cool. It gives it a little bit of character but I think it would be really cool if uh, the chrome were to be brought out on this uh, face plate here, this picture frame. So anyway this just gives you a little bit of a look um, of uh, an old conversion kind of gone bad, uh, the way they do things, the way some of the things have been done to it. So we'll get this squared up for Chris and, and talk to Chris about some of these issues and uh, try to figure out what we want to what we want to do here with with this telephone and um, how things are going to go with it. Uh, we've got coin return here. That's in working condition. That's that's nice, and uh, we'll just lose some of this, uh, the bad parts of this conversion, and reconvert this telephone for home use. This is a 223G. You can see that right there, and I'm glad they didn't paint over that because uh, it's cool to be able to see that. Looks like it's got a date 159, so um, somewhere probably 1959 possibly. So it's a cool telephone and we're going to get this thing in working condition and back to uh, back to, uh, to being a usable telephone and uh, probably set it up to where we just use it as a bank and you can drop money in it and the vault door will lock and the body will lock and things like that. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www dot a one hyphen telephone dot com and you can also reach us at six one eight two three five six nine five nine thank you for watching and have a great day